my favorite part of cooking is that it translates worldwide. Once you understand the foundation of it, which is technique, you can translate ingredients from any region in the world. I can still do French style cooking with Southern ingredients. It's all about how you execute. So the best thing that's been for me for the South Carolina Chef Ambassadors is it's pushed me to introduce myself to locally produced ingredients and learn about seasonality. It's about supporting the people around us that support us every single day. It restores the balance of a community. I'm actually a third generation farmer, so it's technically in my blood. My experience with agriculture has been row crops till I found this system and really the technology behind being able to grow indoors in controlled environment agriculture. After Hurricane Dorian, I was presented with an opportunity to go down there and to help cook and clean up for all the people. I saw the importance of a warm meal and what that can do to somebody when they've literally lost everything. And then I sat there and thought how the Bahamas actually import 99% of everything that they eat. So with all of these shipping containers, bringing in all of these building supplies, you know, I started thinking like, there's gotta be a way to do this. You know, I've seen and heard of it kind of before, but I hadn't really gotten into it. And then when I came back home, I was really researching controlled environment ag and learning how to grow indoors. The temperature of the air, the temperature of the water, the CO2 amount, and we also control the humidity levels in here to guarantee the plants are getting the optimal environment they need to grow. Rue de Jean is considered a Charleston staple. There's a level of comfort and a sense of home that people come here to enjoy. Very early on, I started watching my mom cook. The first thing she taught me was how to make my own scrambled eggs in the microwave. And that started a journey of self-sufficiency in the kitchen. Years later, it became a breakfast cook at a coffee shop in downtown New Bedford, Massachusetts. The atmosphere was chaotic and I was comfortable in the chaos. The growth process is a little gruesome. It's a reality check. You deal with a lot of things you've avoided throughout your life, but you start to evolve and you start to appreciate who you're becoming. Hey, Chef, hey, good what's morning. up, bro? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Chef Marcus is a great guy. We both met because I think we're the two loudest people in the room. And so naturally, we were drawn to each other. And we found out what we each other did for work. And we thought it couldn't be better. Chef, this is going to be your kale coming up for next week and the week after. So we've seen that we have the dazzling blue up here. And then we have the kale bration in the back. Hamilton specializes in small versions of everything. Beautiful lettuce heads are all going out this week and he's excited to tell me about something new he's growing, and we literally just stand at the table and eat greens. These radishes are gonna be super peppery, as you already know, that's why you love them and use them. You're gonna get that super, super peppery taste that's gonna linger there on the back. Amazing, love that. And it's loaded with flavor, but opposed to being just a colorful garnish. If you think about making a sauce, and when you let it reduce, and how all the flavor concentrates, that's the kind of flavor that I get from these smaller leafy greens that he's created specifically for my request. Being able to supply to these restaurants is, is in our entire business and, and being very close to them and being what we call hyper-local is very important to us. So these walls come down like this. What we're really specializing here in King Tide Farms is a chef's cut. So it's all the varieties that you know and love, but it's easier to plate with. It's a more beautiful product, and we're able to harvest that, get it directly to the chef for them to use their plate within hours of cutting it. So fun, right? And so then we go right back to the wall. Chef Marcus's salad called for a very specific kind of kale. We use two different varieties. The first is a dazzling blue kale. And then we went with another variety called Kale Bration. And what that's gonna be is a mix that's gonna give us a lot more colors and flavors and sizes to that mix to complete his dish that he's looking for. Appreciate you. Nailed it. Now, the salad. 
So the King Tide kale salad with microgreens has become this beautiful, elegant, summery inspired dish. Every part of this dish has depth. They're meant to be cohesive. So if I can get a bite of the protein, the sauce, the veg, and the starch, that's how I'm going to eat the whole thing because that's what it's meant to be. The green goddess dressing is a great compliment to the salad because the base is the main ingredient, kale. And then we add a little bit of complexity with the champagne vinegar and a blend of oils that give you different tones of fat. So you add a little bit of truffle and extra virgin olive oil and then a little bit of canola oil. I was taught fat equals flavor and that's especially in French cooking. My goal is always to give the guests an experience. In my heart, I believe that if you make things well, it will be appreciated. And then the fact that it could be their neighbor or a distant relative that is putting in the effort to create these things, I think it's important. The whole point of this program is to create awareness on the importance of the things that we do in the state of South Carolina and the products that we grow and the animals that we raise and the fish that we fish. What we do is an opportunity for us to share who we are with the world. I'm Marcus Shell, and I'm proud to be a South Carolina Chef Ambassador.